What's going on guys, so the Chevrolet Configurator is finally live. You could go on here and spec out a truck and actually see what it's going to cost. So I figured we'd hop on here, play around with it, spec out a couple different trucks, see what the options are and how much it's going to cost. And uh, I'll have a link to this in the description if you want to go on here and build your own truck. But let's just play around with this and see what we got. So starting off, it shows you this ZR2 right here. Net price at 68000 but obviously we ain't going that route. So let's go over here. We do want crew cab short bed. Let's go to the trims. I'm gonna spec out the first truck right here, the exact same or try to that I did my GMC that I ordered. 5.3, 10 speed. LTZs always look good in black. Let's leave that there. Interior, we'll go jet black. All right, so options. Let's see what our LTZ premium package power, heated seats, adaptive crew. So we would be clicking this because the GMC did have that. So that is a change of one thousand six hundred and twenty dollars we'll go with that so that's putting us up right at fifty nine thousand dollars right there so we're a couple hundred dollars shy of what the gmc came out to be uh now okay so that's got sunroof c71 no we don't want steps it is four wheel drive max trailering so this is what I did get for the GMC, which it comes with all these things that you see here. A lot of cool stuff, including that 342. Ooh, you can get the 373 with a diesel. That's pretty cool. Probably pull a house down right there. So we do want to do max trailering. Exterior. Don't care. Changing the wheels anyways. Wheels don't matter unless... Let's see what the new wheels look like. I guess those are... <laughs> They're going to be reps on the market in no time with those. Those are actually really sharp. $3,400, mm, don't know about all that, but that is a really sharp 22 inch wheel. So we got the gross vehicle weight, 7,300 pounds, 342. We don't need any of that. Hill descent control. So we've got the 17s. <laughs> uh, we got power sunroof. Yes, 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 yes. No, we're not any, none of those options. All right, interior. All right, so we do have front bucket seats. Ooh, that interior is crispy. Not equipped with heated steering wheel. What? My GMC was coming with heated steering wheel. That's some bull. They give you $25 back to not get to enjoy that half the year. No thanks. Not equipped with front parking assist. $50 back. Wow. Bed view camera. I'm pretty positive mine did say it had that. Let's see. Yeah, that's wanting us to add a heads up display. We'll just leave that off now. So honestly the ltz and the slt came out to pretty much the exact price if you look right there that's a, pretty much exactly what mine came out to be let's go back we're gonna build my previous truck now we're gonna go with lt trail boss and i had the 6.2 yes no we're swapping it i do like the new hoods that's pretty tough not gonna lie if i hadn't have just had the previous body style silverado i would I would definitely go with this because look, that thing's sharp. I just want to take a moment to point out how tall they have the Trail Boss looking in this video. The front of Trail Bosses do not sit anywhere near this high. The back, sure. The front, no. They got this truck sitting level. It is not going to show up level. So my Trail Boss started at 51 and after options it was up to 61, which I didn't pay MSRP then, but of course you pretty much are now. So, okay, we've got that. Let's go to colors. We're just going to do it just like just like my last one summit white Ooh, okay that's pretty sharp i'm not gonna lie that's pretty sharp right there I, I dig that front end it's not overly black i guess maybe i like this white part that goes right here yeah that's that's looking right um you can get some premium colors i just want to see what the blue looks like on there oh yeah that's a good blue that's a good blue we're gonna leave it white for right here all right, jet black, yep, leather. So mine was leather. Okay, we're having to add bows. My truck did have bows. Yes, okay, so my truck had all of that. All right, packages. So, power slider, yes, mine had all of that. Mine was not a midnight edition. Mine did have the high clearance side steps. So mine had the 20s. Let's see what remove. Yep. Yep. This is something I didn't get that because I didn't order my other one, but I definitely would have went with the 342s with the 62 just for the extra um what? You gotta remove 
the 6-2 to get the 3. And add. That makes no sense. That's so stupid. But I would have got it for that extra tire shredding performance. Mine did have wheel locks. We're getting kind of petty right there. But, I mean, hey, every penny counts on what it was. So, did they have the high clearance boards once again? Yeah, there they are. I had these. Why would you option black recovery? Come on. Get out of here. All right. front rear splash guards. Mine did have those. That's a $200 option. Power just vertical trailer. Nope. Front lights. No. Multiflex. Four, nope. Mine did not have that. Ooh. Power up. Mine didn't have the up. I guess they included that now. That's cool. So. Bucket seats. No. Front floor liners. Yes. Mine did have front floor liners. Adaptive cruise. No, mine did not. Didn't have that then. I don't know. Rear under storage. Yes, mine did have rear under storage. Mine did have a bed view camera. Mine uh don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Yes, yes. Sixty-six thousand nine fifty-five. I told y'all they were going up this year. I told y'all a lot of y'all didn't believe me. So the exact spec, as far as I'm pretty positive, I got everything that mine did have. Um, of course, you got the new interior on these, but um, as far as apples to apples, new truck versus new truck, one year apart. Uh, mine was 61,000. This one is 66,000, which is a very loaded trail boss. It's going to be an absolutely amazing truck, but you're up like five grand MSRP and you would be paying like last year, previous years, less than five grand of the MSRP, whereas now you're paying the full MSRP. So yeah, getting close to a $70,000 trail boss right there, basically $67,000 for that trail boss. So super expensive now let's go with what i would go with if i was buying a silver auto or what i would prefer obviously we just saw sixty seven thousand dollar trail boss it might be too expensive but all right crew cab short bed yes now let's go down to the high country and yes if i'm spending this kind of crazy money i mean this is what only two thousand dollars option six two automatically base price we're at sixty five grand so let's go to next step colors let's try the cherry red yeah let's go with that okay we'll go with the jet black high country free power sunroof yeah, i mean you pretty much got to go with that just to get all the sunroof you get the cameras let's see oh get the 22s heads up display Super Cruise can cruise and eat our food and do whatever else we want to do in there. All right, off road. No, we don't want like Garbo. Man, that's a good looking truck. Uh, no, you don't want Dark Essentials package on the high country. All right, is this the wheels that we liked? No, those are horrible. Oh my gosh, those are horrible. We're going with this. Oh, it's three thirty four hundred dollar extra. What? Those wheels, those factory high country wheels are terrible for real. So maybe we could remove the other and just, dude, you, it's not even gonna tell us pricing, holy crap. See dealer for pricing. It's not even gonna give us a roundabout. So it's, that's definitely like a $75,000 truck. Old time's sake, I'm gonna build one just like Baby Squat. So we're gonna go with LT. See, look. Base price, dude, 52000 I'm telling y'all. So let me look real quick. Baby Squat's base price was 44 and then MSRP was 48 So right here, way more expensive. But we're going to go with that. Go Summit White. Cloth is fine. That's how Baby Squat was. All-Star Edition. So they still have that option. This should give us all color match. Okay, it didn't for some reason. That is not what All-Star was back in the day. So it was a Z71, yes. Didn't have any of that, none of that. Nope, 
Nope. Didn't have that. Didn't have that. Nada. Nope. Nope. We were pretty basic with the old baby squat. Okay. It came with 18s. So let's just option these 18s. That's save us several hundred dollars. Yeah. All right. Fifty bucks. Oh, that's funny. Uh, yeah. All that looks good. Looks good. Do do do. Baby squat. Twenty twenty two. No, sir. Front bucket's only way to do it. Wireless charging. It did have that. Did not have parking assist or anything like that. From twenty eighteen to twenty twenty two. LT Z71 Crew Cab 5.3. Obviously, this one definitely has some upgrades like the interior, the transmission, th things like that. But 54.8. Essentially $18,000 more expensive because you're going to be paying MSRP. But even if you didn't, I mean, this one is essentially 55. My truck was what was it 48 baby squat was 48 msrp so seven thousand dollar difference in msrp just from the years same specs whatever the case obviously yes this one does have its benefits do i think this looks as good as baby squat no so uh yeah that's pretty crazy but that's pretty much it for the configurator guys i just wanted to hop on here because they did just make this live with prices so i thought that was pretty cool let y'all know have a little fun building this thing out so anyways link in the description if you want to go on here and build one yourself spec it out see what it's going to cost you let me know what you think about these trucks with these prices and with that being said i'll probably see you in another video later this afternoon